Hi guys and welcome in the next video. So on today's video we're going to jump back to the KUKA because there's a lot of stuff that we gotta cover there. So we're going to start with the world coordinate system. Ready? Let's get started. Alright. So for those of you guys who have seen my uh, final video uh, regarding the uh, word coordinate system, you can kind of skip to the exercises because the word coordinate system rules will apply to KUKA as well. So just remember the right hand rule and directions and that's all you got to remember for pretty much every robot. But uh, let's get to KUKA stuff. Alright, so uh, with the word coordinate system we're able to move the robot uh, using the Cartesian uh, coordinate system. So it's not going to be jogging axis by axis, but we are actually going to jog in the X, Y, Z direction and around X, Y and Z axis. Now the question is, what does it mean uh, for you? So when you know in which way you want to jog, that is going to be the simplest way to jog for you. So for example, if you know where the X is and you hit the X on the keyboard, uh, on the keypad, that means you will move into the X direction, Y direction and Z. And that's where the uh, word coordinates will come handy. Why? Because the word coordinate system is always located in the same spot. It is always located uh, in the robot base. So, by knowing that and knowing how to select the coordinate system, you'll be able to jog the robot same as you would uh, during using a joint movement without really knowing what's programmed on the robot. So if you get to a robot that you don't know, joint movements or word coordinate system is going to be your way to go. Okay, so before we start talking about the word coordinate system a little bit more, I would like to talk a little bit about the right hand rule. So that's going to be one of the most important rules in robot programming in general guys so write it down make a note because that's like number one you gotta know know about it whenever you wake up during the middle of the night you just need to know it by heart okay so what is the right hand rule so if you take your right hand and you're going to make like a, a 3d uh, coordinate system where you have x y and z and then you're going to use your fingers as the axis. So when you take your right hand, you're going to make the coordinate system and you're going to know that that's your X plus, that's your Y plus, and this is your Z plus coordinate system. And you are going to apply this to every uh, KUKA robot that you're going to use the word coordinate system and other coordinate systems as well, but we're going to cover that a little bit later. So when you know the right hand rule, you're just going to take the robot and jog it freely. So there are also options of rotating around X, Y, and Z. How do you do that? Well, that's pretty simple. So let's take the right hand rule. And again, if you have your Z plus direction, the thumb is pointing up, then you want to make the circle. And then this is going to be your direction of the movement. So you know that's going to be your axis and direction of the movement and that then you know it's positive, negative, and this will apply to all of the axes. Okay, so that was pretty much all from the introduction. Oh, the most important, of course, if you're going to jog using the uh, word coordinate system, you're going to move all axes at the same time, but we will see that on the exercises. Okay, so let's head to exercises. All right, guys. So we spoke about how to jog the robot before. Now let's talk how to jog the robot in uh, using a word coordinate system. So as I said in the video, uh, the word coordinate system is uh, located always in the same spot and it can be indicated using the right hand, right hand rule when you stand behind the robot. So let's stand behind the robot right now as like this, as as you can see, uh, there is already an indication that I set showing you uh, how the robot will move in the world coordinate system. So the arrow pointing up will be your Z plus. The arrow pointing in front 
is going to be your uh, X plus and the arrow pointing into the left is going to be your Y plus direction. So first thing you want to do, let's keep it like this. So we're standing behind the robot. You want to click in here if you're using the keys or if you're using the mouse click here and you want to select the word coordinate system. As you select it, you have your X, you have your Y, and you have your Z keys, as well as rotation around X, Y, and Z. So let's check uh, how that would work. So let's move Y positive. So the robot should move to our left right now. So as we click it, you can see the robot is moving to the left. If we click Z plus, the robot is going to move up. If you click Z minus, the robot is going to move down. And following the right hand rule, X plus will bring the robot forward. X minus will bring the robot towards us as we're standing behind the robot. Uh, just a reminder for you guys, uh, remember that we can select the incremental jogging. So let's say we wanna move 100 millimeters in Y positive. So we're going to hold it. We'll move for 100 millimeters and then the robot will stop. Then we want to move 100 millimeters down, so we're going to move 100 millimeters down and the robot will stop regardless of the fact that we are holding the key. And then uh, the rotation will be 10 degrees in X, uh, around the X, or around the Y, or around the Z. Uh, the word coordinate system doesn't care about the tool or base that you, you have selected. Again, it's always located in the same spot. If you want to move with your mouse, remember to select the, the word coordinate systems uh, for your mouse. As you can see, uh, the mouse coordinate system doesn't affect the uh, keys coordinate system. Uh, so that's all about uh, jogging in the Word coordinate system. If you want to see the robot position, you want to click on the menu and you want to display the actual position. Uh, this way you can uh, see your X, Y, and Z. So like I said, if we move 100 millimeters in the X, we hold the X key and the robot did move 100 millimeters in the X. If we move the Y, the robot did move 100 millimeters in the Y and the Z, 100 millimeters in the Z. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, comment, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.